Brian Cox, a huge welcome to the Six O'Clock Show. Yay! Yes. <laughs> and we're dressed the same. I know. Didn't get the memo, guys. Didn't get the memo. It's OK. Brian's. I'm annoyed about that. But, um, Brian, we have to talk about Succession because, obviously, huge role that you had. Do you miss the show since it ended? Do you miss playing Logan no. Roy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Moving on, next question. <laughs> can, can we ask you, Brian, why such a definite no? Well, it's over. You know, when it's over, it's over. I mean, I've been acting for over 60 years and Logan was just another stop on the way. You know? So uh, when it's done, it's done. I don't miss it. You know, you, you know, I mean, it was a great time. I had a great time. It was a great role. It was a great company. It was the great scripts and it had a natural conclusion, which is what I really, you know, I was really pleased about. So, uh, I mean, the only quarrel I had was maybe rather than killing me in the third episode, maybe they could have killed me in the, um, the fifth or the end of the fifth episode, perhaps. But apart from that, I just felt uh, fine. I mean, I knew because the show's called Succession. So I knew there had to be a moment of succession. <laughs> yeah, eventually. So, you know, otherwise, the title doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's actually a really valid point. I've not thought about it, it that way. It's no spoiler, really. Yeah, it's like it's called, someone that eventually has to step up. <laughs> uh, we have to ask you, what, would the, what was the fans' reaction to Logan Roy's departure from the show? Uh, uh, not good. They were very disappointed. Uh, a lot of them said they were going to stop watching it. And I said, well, it's called Succession. And you haven't seen the Succession part yet. I mean, it's got to happen. So, um, you know, so I was fine with that. But, uh, you know, they uh, some of the fans said, oh, I, we don't want to watch it anymore. We, you're gone. And, uh, you know, there was, there was a lot of grief, actually. Yeah, I think a lot of people actually really loved the character, even though... He was a debatable character, to say the least. <laughs> I think that's a testament, though, to how Brian played the part that people were actually grieving mm. and were sad the character no longer... We don't want to give too many spoilers away, yeah. but was no longer around. Yeah, even though we love to hate him, we're yes. sad to see him go. True. Um, two movies that you took part in were based... Well, filmed in Ireland. Uh, Braveheart and The Boxer. How did you find working over here? I, I love working in Ireland. My daughter was at Trinity, so I spent a lot of time in Ireland. So, um, you know, so, and I'm, and to work with the great Jim Sheridan is one of the joys, you know, I love working with Jim. And The Boxer was a great, great project, you know. And of course, Braveheart, I only did the Scottish bit, I never did the Irish bit. Uh, stuck to your roots. Yes. True roots. Now, while the James Bond movies are on pause, 007 is coming to the small screen, but with a little reality TV twist. Mm. Tell us about your role as the controller of 007 in The Road to a Million. I like the title. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of got confused because I thought they were asking me to do a... A double, I thought they were asking me to do a James Bond movie, and I said, oh, yeah, I'm excited for the James Bond movie. Great, you know, I'd love to play a James Bond villain. And they said, it's not quite that. I said, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then I realised it wasn't quite that at all. Yeah. But um, it was very enjoyable, very, very enjoyable. It's doing really well because it's already been renewed for a second season, so that's incredible. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Nobody's told me. Well, there we are. I will take the commission instead of your agent. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. 20%. That means the money has to go up. Yes. <laughs>